Hello. Hello. Hello, Mr. Moan. Hey. How's it going? Pretty good. Good. Oh, let me move these chairs for you. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were coming in this way. Door, by the way. Nice to meet you. Uh, I don't know if you picked up some of my material from my car talking about heaven and just to do away with like the prehistoric belief system of Satanism, blood drinking, and sacrificing of children and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. This town, it has some sort of that going on. We can talk about that. Let me mic you up first. Let me get you mic'd up. I think the kids deserve like better than getting okay. sacrificed. Yeah. That's all. Is so. it okay if I touch you? Yeah. Okay. Just gonna put this right here. I had two books in the car. I don't know if it was taking me to. I had a holy Bible. I seen some children like on trees and stuff. Mm -hmm. I investigated. There we go. All right. You want to sit here for me? Thank you, my man. All right. And then I'm just gonna leave this on your lap. Is that okay? So the, uh, the camera is not here, just ignore it, it's just me and you having a conversation. So to, to start off for me, um, can you please just say your full name? Francisco Monge. Yes. It's Monge? Okay. Yes. And then can you spell it out for me? M-O-N-G-E. Mm -hmm. And Francisco? F-R-A-N-C-I-S-C-O. Are you from Bakersfield? Uh, yes, Kern County, Bakersfield. Yeah. I was raised here. Yeah? What high school did you go to? Uh, I went to three different high schools. I went to uh, I went to Taft Union High School. I went to VHS a little bit. I went to Ridgeview, graduated from Ridgeview. I went back to Taft and then I came back to graduate from Ridgeview. What's your uh, like 98? Your, uh, 98, wow. Yes. Um, what did you do after high school? What jobs you I started working in concrete demolition. Mm -hmm. uh, I started working for a man named Gerald uh, Ogden, uh, tearing pool decks out from the backyard. And then uh, uh, he, he got me a referral from him to get a better job at Pinhall Company, concrete demolition, the bigger company and I started making more money. I worked with them here until it was like 2000, and I moved to Dallas, Texas. Mm -hmm. When I moved to Dallas, Texas, I worked with a man named uh, Gerald, or not, um, Paul White, at uh, Wise Engineering Concrete Demolition. I worked with his outfit for a long time. Uh, and then I came back to Bakersfield and I worked with Pinhole Company again. I was trained very well and I started making a lot of money. I used to live off of, uh, I think it's 50 something. Um, what do you do now? Uh, I'm disabled. You're disabled? A car, I was hit by a car, something about my ex. She wanted to get a life insurance policy on my, on my life. And like, I don't know what, uh, I didn't really cheat or anything, but mm -hmm. she tried to get a life insurance policy or something. And like, I was struck by a car. Yeah. 
And uh, there was a setup scheme also. I don't know if it had to do anything to, with anybody like important in this town, but I believe it was. Um, okay. Can I ask you about what happened with like your injuries? Um, uh, I got hit. Yeah. Who hit you? Um. It looked like Bakersfield Police Department, the same ones running the Padre pimping outfit, the same ones running the VIP, you know, secret, secret, weekend prostitute, young, young teenagers. I want to the talk same to you ones. about what happened on Wednesday. You know, uh, you were pulled over by police as a, at a traffic stop. They said you had some sort of sling shot weapon. You no. Know what I'm talking about? No. No. I was not pulled over. You didn't Wednesday? They, yeah, it was July 3rd. You weren't pulled over? The same day I got Were you this, shot at by police? That same day? I was not pulled over. Okay. Can I was you tell not, me what happened from uh, your perspective? The, the, uh, these cops, they're like, uh, you know, they have these underage... They have these underage teenage workers at the VIP room at the strip clubs. They have three strip clubs. They have three strip clubs at, you know, Kern County. They have three. They have Teaser Pleaser. They have uh, Kitty Cat. Mm -hmm. And they have Deja Vu. And these strip clubs, they use underage girls to dance. Okay. And they get them pregnant, and they get the embryos. And I believe that they're eating the embryos. So, so like cannibalism. Let's, let's go back here. Let's. There, there's a lot to unpack there, but let's 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 go back. I want to know what what happened to you physically on that day. So you, I have the the press release here. If you want, I could read it to you. Maybe it'll jog your memory a little bit about. I what didn't get happened. pulled over with the sling. I'm just saying, like, but like they hit me because I tried to defend myself. I've been speaking against, so like what, the LGBT community, yeah, being able to get when, foster parenting rights because they they do get foster parenting rights to get a kid, and then they rape the child and they're gay homosexuals that are doing it, and then they work them in the brothel houses and their okay. VIP strip clubs. That's all I was saying on, on a lot of the issues. Yeah. But there's a lot of Satanism in this town. That's why it's so, like, covered up. A lot of things are a lot of things are covered up in this second. town. Mr. Not, that's so, all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of things are so covered up, and the trying. kids deserve better than, like, this. Yeah. You for said the you were future. trying to defend yourself, right? From well, they want to kill me. I've already been shot so at. I, I want to know times. what happened that day. What were they trying to do? Were you trying to defend yourself from what um, was happening in the situation? I didn't think it was. I didn't think the cops were the ones shooting me at my home. I have like adamantium, like mm -hmm. from the word of God. I read the word of God from sun up to sun down. I have adamantium in my knees. Okay. And stuff, and the thing is, like, they shot me really hard. I'm supposed to be dead, and I'm not dead, and I'm saying the truth. The kids deserve better. I know than they not. shot at you, but they didn't shoot you. Yeah. So, what? So you were? Wow. They shot me with 303s like a couple of weeks ago. They they've been shooting me. I've been staying calm. They've been shooting me at my house even and stuff. Yeah. And I haven't been doing anything. And I didn't think it was like Vegas Hill Police Department, but I have been speaking on like young teenage adolescent, you know, girls do not deserve to be thrown in the, you know, the yeah. strip club, in the VIP room. For 250, they can have the full, you know, happy ending. I'm just saying they don't deserve that. Nobody deserves that. A, a teenage a girl must be respected. Her dignity must be honored. I'm just saying, like, they deserve better than that. And, like, Vegas Hill Police Department with the Padre and stuff, I wonder if you could see if, like, you could take photographs of them going in there and they're, like, prostitutes. 
Well, we'll, we'll, we'll look into that. But it, uh, I, I want to ask you, and this is going to get kind of personal, and if you don't want to talk about it, I understand, but I just want to know, are you, do you have any mental illness? Are you on um, any medication? I'm on a low dosage. Of what? Um, a bill of 15 milligrams. Mm -hmm. But I hear things like, not like other people. I, I'm not a Satanist. Okay. I've never participated in a seance or drinking blood. Yeah, we're, we're not saying we're not I'm saying just, you are. I'm just yeah. reassuring the people. Yeah. I'm not a Satanist. I am a scripture, a holy scripture, like wisdom, uh, trying to get more wisdom and stuff from the scripture. Uh, the thing is, like, they labeled me schizophrenia. Uh, okay. That is people like attacking me and stuff, like with demonic Satanism. The but the thing is, when you put tick, when you put tick to telepathically attack me from a Metropolitan State Hospital on the block that I lived at, with a towel right there on the corner and a street grid where they put more fiber optic line in there when I moved in. I'm just saying, it's not really like you trying to label schizophrenic. I'm just saying there's the tower down the street on Silver Birch Avenue and the street grid. It's really different to say someone suffers from a, you know, mental breakdown when there's a tower from Metropolitan and like I want you to talk to me about a street the, grid. the car chase, the car chase. Right, so you were stopped. I was there on the block. I will, I will say this. I you was were there, Silver Burst Avenue. I was there. I would sit on a bucket. I wouldn't have any problems. I'd be quiet and stuff. And then I started getting gunshots and stuff. I even told my psychiatrist at Sierra Clinic that somebody shot me. Don't worry, like, Your I have Your medication, have you been taking it regularly once you've been out of prison? Yes. Yeah? But Every that's day? the thing, that's the thing I'm telling you. At Sierra Clinic, I told my psychiatrist that I'm a good person, that they're shooting me with big rounds, 303 elephant rounds. That's what they laughed about. And I had, like, two indentions in my knees where the blood started trickling out. And I'm trying to tell you, this is serious things that they want me to die and stuff. And I don't think I deserve to die because they're lazy and they don't want to work. Like, I worked. I wouldn't think about prostituting an underage teenage girl. I wouldn't think about raping an underage teenage girl. In Dallas, Texas, there was a stripper, yeah? She was 18. She had a mental breakdown, something about a boyfriend or something. She went to my studio apartment. I did not do anything violating the law or take advantage. I gave her coffee, got her sober up, and she left. I'm not a bad guy. I'm a good guy. She was a white woman. Okay. She was 18. I want to I wanna focus on what happened on July 3rd. I know that there's a lot to talk about, but I really just want to like try and concentrate and especially you, just focus just your mind on when this car chase happened and what exactly happened. Because I really wanted your side of the story, right? I was going, I seen a line behind me, and I, I, I've been getting shot at a lot. And I, Did they try and stop you? I didn't know it was Bakersfield Police Department, but I, I, gathered, I gathered that it was Bakersfield Police Department. And I, they just you know, closed in the rank on me on both sides, and that was all. Did you did you take off? Did you try and leave when they came up to your car? They never tried to come up. I was just driving through a neighborhood, and I kept driving when the, I heard a siren. I kept driving. I thought it was for someone else. But then I got to the thing, and I see them and them in the back, mm -hmm. and I, they're the ones shooting at me at Silverbirds Avenue. But they, shot, they shot at you on, on July 3rd. Before. I, I, even, I even told But I'm talking about July 3rd. They I'm just telling you, they shot at me before. Yeah. On speaking, on speaking not to prostitute minor age girls. On that issue, they shot me with a real gun. A 303. I even showed my Sierra Clinic uh, 
psychiatrist, the, butt, the gunshots in my legs, and I'm not playing. I, so on, on July 3rd, you know, they, they said that you had this like David and Goliath type sling. Did, do you remember anything like that? Anything like that on your person? Um, there's like serrated teeth monsters in town that I've seen. This is what I want to say on this issue. Because okay. you're saying, what justifies it? What is justifiable? I'm going to tell you I'm, the truth. I'm I just see, asking if you had this. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, yeah. What's justifiable? I seen a serrated tooth monster on Mount Vernon and California. You're going to say, it's an alien, serrated teeth. He put dangers in. I seen this yeah. in broad daylight. But what they don't tell you is there's a penis beaten off right there on the other side of like California, past Mount Vernon. A whole penis was ripped off by this monster that was that serrated tooth kind of monster. I've been hearing some kind of reports that some of these monsters have been like undentured in the teeth and they finding okay. that they're real. I don't know let's, if you don't understand let's go back the, justifica third. the justification yeah. for what you just claimed. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not asking you to justify it. I just I'm want just to know saying, what they're you, out there. You had. They're out there. You had it. They're out there and they were in the Vadio, they were in the Oki, and they're out there. They're real blocks okay. on the poor side of yeah. neighborhoods. There's, there, there are monsters out there. I, I understand. Uh, but I just really want to know about this sling that the, the Bakersfield Police Department said you had. Um, you can say whatever. I know you can say whatever. But I did see a penis ripped off okay. with teeth that's, marks that's in fine. the gutter. That's yeah, I mean, you can say whatever. Well, like, I really did see that, and it's not, like, something nice to see when you're eight years old. When you were ar arrested um, on Wednesday, July 3rd, the first, actually, let me scratch that. Why do you think you're in jail? Uh, um, maybe the commerce legislation, uh, maybe they didn't know everything about prostitution. Do you think uh, you maybe a maybe they didn't know everything about strip clubs, especially when they're minors of age. Maybe you know because it's wrong to get minors of age to go and work at a strip club, and I'm just saying maybe the commerce legislation of Bakersfield didn't understand the danger that they're putting the young females and themselves because these things attract evil killers that will kill for money, that will rob people, will kill people for do money. You, I, never, I never did anything of that nature. Do you think you committed a crime? I defended my life, and I, they are sometimes police officers. They are sometimes like, like elected officials, and it is dangerous. Yeah, so That's how wrong. did you defend your life? What did you do specifically? I don't have a gun. What they have guns. Use? They've been shooting me. What did you use to defend yourself? I'm just saying they have been shooting me a lot. Did you use anything to defend yourself? I used, I used a Latico de Muerte. It's King David Sling. King David Sling. I have three varieties. I have a sunflower one. A sunflower one is you put a sunflower in it, mm -hmm. and then you do it real fast, and it lets go. A sunflower seed goes, I don't know, far. Do you know how to, to use this? Yes, yeah. yes. But the thing, but. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. But like the thing is, it hits monsters. It hits real monsters that are those serrated teeth monsters. And uh, On July 3rd, were you trying to hit those monsters? All I know is, like, for some reason, they must have killed a lot of kids or something, and they got me to leave my area and come.
further into town and like they're satanic cannibals. That's why they're able to do what they do. They're cannibals that kill kids, that get you to do things so they can arrest you and stuff. I'm not a thief. I'm not a drug dealer. I'm not a, a killer to rob. I don't understand. I defend children. I defend teenagers. I defend family. And these monsters are everywhere. So this King of David sling, what did you, where did you get it? Um, Where'd you get those? I made it. You made it. How did you learn how to make that? Uh, um, you know, they say that they have a lot of artwork in the Civic Center. Yeah. Um, the artwork in the Civic Center, this is what I heard, that they have a lot of artwork in the Civic Center that I was locked up last time for a year and 14 months, or 14 months, and I did a lot of artwork. Uh, if you take the books, from the Ford Focus, the one is outlined in detail. The other one is cleaner, like a cleaner version. Okay. But you take those books and that Holy Bible. I know it seems really bad in some writings, but it does say not all people. That's all I'm saying. Uh, if you take, uh, it talks about heaven. It talks about making heaven real. It talks about leaving prehistoric, yeah. blood drinking, satanic beliefs, um, cannibalism and stuff of that nature in the past and establishing the true heaven just on intellect. These things cause a lot of bad um, so I, I wanna physical, ask medical, uh, medical, uh, doctoral symptoms. So I just want to know blood. how you made the sling yourself. I made my, I made the sling. Yeah. I made the sling. Uh, it launches seeds, yeah. flower seeds, uh, flower seeds. Uh, it launches uh, uh, acorn seeds or anything kind of seed. But for a cannibal, when it hit the cannibal, it destroys the cannibal. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I hear him. I, I have to say. I, I feel horribly Sunflower of seeds. what you're going through. And, you know, I'm sorry you were, you know, involved in this thing on Wednesday. Um, you've been in court before. I've been fighting here in Bakersfield for 44 years for the respect the children deserve. Do you think that you're going to, what do you think is the outcome of this case? Do you think you're going to plead no contest again? or The thing is that I'm trying to say, on this doctoral study on the putrid blood reverberation of the DNA, when you drink blood like a Satanist, your DNA reverts backwards. You also give yourself chronic symptoms of AIDS, uh, herpes, warts. All these things revert backwards in your blood. It's worse if you drink fresh blood. You revert backwards like in Down syndrome, are, you, are they giving you your medication here in jail? Yeah, I'm just telling yeah. you doctoral, educated, like, real, like. I think I'm good, Justin. Uh, I'm just trying to say, like, it reverts your DNA. It also bad symptoms of arthritis in your blood symptoms. Well, arthritis. I just, um, just want to thank you for doing the interview with us today. Really. Thank you. And I, I tried to fight for the kids. Yeah, and letting, you know, People but if you look that up you, doctorally, you. Um, if you ask a doctor, what does blood drinking do to the human anatomy inside the blood? That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Be fair and just like ask a doctor. Yeah. I'm so sorry you're going through all of this. And he'll he'll make you understand. Yeah. I hope you know you could find a place where you can get into a better mindset and. Headspace. It's not. A, it's Fair. not a mindset. It's like you. You, you, you guys are like killing kids in Bakersfield, California. Thank you so much for like the NFL. That's what you guys are really doing, for Thank whatever you. reasons. Thank you, Mr. Monch. You think it's justifiable or something? Thank you, guys. I think we're good. All right, come on. Can we get to the one thing with your mic? Yeah.
Thank you, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Cheers.